Hey, this is Blake. We're going to talk about the cold hardiness in bananas. And John's going to point out with the dwarf namwa. So this dwarf namwa, and you can see quite a bit of the the outer part of the leaves are frozen, but you peel a few layers in and it's it's okay. I'm not sure that this one's going to come back. We could try to cut it lower, but see how the the middle leaf isn't popping out. Mm -hmm. So that that's not good. Rock got to it. This one was flowering and setting fruit, so it's definitely not going to come back. But these stalks, except for the squirrel chewing on it, yeah, I see that are coming out with new leaves. The squirrels are a pain in the butt. Look at that. Yeah. Now, if the squirrel keeps chewing on it, would that cause rot too? Oh, they'll get used to it. They'll okay. chew on something else. Yeah, but it'll. It, It'll come back out. So this is a young Namwa. It's really just he chewed on it too. Just got planted, but just to compare and contrast the cold tolerance. Here's your your grand name. And even though this is cut much lower, you can see that those center leaves are not coming out. So all of this is dead, and it's probably dead to the bud, mm -hmm. and the corm is going to have to spread, sprout out with new, new ones. Because new the, the leaf's not trying to come out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's just pressure built up. Okay, one. pushing out. Yeah. It's, it's not going to outgrow that. I've yeah. almost never seen that happen. So you, you can see that there's really no, there's no green tissue in here. These are, these are frozen all the way through. Mm -hmm. It's just a much more frost-sensitive banana. So I think the Namwas in general are the most cold tolerant of your dessert type banana that I've seen. Maybe there's another. I think that one needs to be cut down a little bit more. Yeah, I'd probably cut a little bit further. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just put, a, put that picture of that one for the Agri-Stocks folks. Hey, we're gonna go through different banana types and I'm gonna show you the different cold tolerance. So right in front of me is Saba. You can see I cut it down further and it's starting to push out. The leaf should push out soon. It may need to be cut again. But this is a big difference from this and the Orinoco. Orinoco started having a whole bunch of dieback when it got below 15. And these probably need to be cut again. My store pretty much got knocked back to the ground. That one needs to be cut again. Uh, one of those small sprouts that I cut shoot, shooting up. Here's another Saba. It's pushing out. This one looks better with the leaf. I think another one needs to be cut a little bit more. Same with this uh, improved Mysore. That did actually fairly well. I think it had some wind break. Cardaba fared very well. Look at that. And it's about to push that leaf out. Look, even the pups pushing out new growth. Didn't have much issues with crown rot. See, we had another knot that was cooler, so this is kind of burnt from that cooler knot, but I need to get a knife and cut this again. And this should push a leaf out. If it doesn't, you're gonna to want to cut more down, or maybe cut down into here. The Cardaba did well. Here's my dwarf Namwa. It was smaller, and where my area is at, it's more windy and it's colder. So it died to about there. And I have a spot where you have some overhang of some type of tree that doesn't lose its leaves in the winter. Use a live oak, pine trees. This Cardaba is doing well. So this is a pup from that other one. And look, it's about to push the leaf out. Look at that. Cardaba, Saba, the Cardaba should be grown more. The fruits are still good, very cold hardy, and you're going to get a lot of reward from it. So grow you a Cardaba. Still not saying you should, shouldn't grow the other one. Still grow them because you might have some years where the weather is fair. And when the weather is not, you'll have this as a backup. New leaf's about to push out. Catch you later.